Ethan, how's it feel coming back here today, seeing the pupils knowing that you were in their shoes not too long ago? Uh, yeah, it feels amazing to be fair. You know, I've seen the boys outside this training and, you know, I sort of laughed at the Joe McBride. I said, this used to be me. Uh, it's crazy. You know, I look back on it, the four years that I had here with a lot of fondness and I really enjoyed it. You made your debut at 16. Do you think the Scottish FA GD performance school can have had you ready to make your debut playing against men at that age? Yeah, um, I made my debut at 16 against Rafe Rovers. I think that every day I was here, I got better. Technically, awareness-wise, I grew as a boy probably, maturity-wise as well. And that allowed me on my debut to go in there at 16 and you know, be ready. 2001 was our second year group we took into Holyrood at the time. Uh, really exciting group. Obviously, Ethan is here today. We've got Nathan Patterson, is probably the most high-profile one just now. Alongside Nathan, you know, people like Matt Leonard and, and Dapo that Fantastic players as well, all different abilities, different you know, challenges every day in training. It was that full group that came in every day and the reason they got better wasn't, wasn't me, you know, the reason they got better is because of them. They, they all pushed each other on and they all got on really well. Well, there are people that come that haven't had that opportunity, they come in to visit or whatever, they all say, even some of the teachers just say, God, I wish we had that when we were at school, it's, it's an amazing opportunity for them. It's great, it's great for the school, it's, it's great for the programme, it's great for everybody, we, we just love to see them see them doing well and as you say, Ethan's still just maybe 21, he's got 100 games, fantastic for him. Ethan, we're back at your old school, back at Holyrood, one of the Scottish FA JD Performance School programme schools. How does it feel to be back? No, it feels good, taking a look around, you know, a few things have changed, but you know, coming through the front door was a bit surreal almost. The, how do you look back on your time with the school now, a few years later? No, I had a lot of fond memories here. I uh, enjoyed every minute of it, the football side and the education side as well. You know, I think it set me up to become a man and, you know, make my debut at Sutman. Um, I actually made my debut the same year that I left the school. I felt very lucky to, you know, get selected because I'm sure there's a lot of kids that maybe, unfortunately, didn't get selected that would love to, you know, be in my position. So, no, I feel fortunate and I look back at it with great memories, yeah. And you came for the Scotland youth teams, you played with Billy Gilmore and Nathan yeah. Patterson. You're playing professionally just now, but they've gone up to the very top level and played for the men's A team. That must be a massive motivation for you. Yeah, uh, you know, it's good to play with Billy for I think 16s to 18s, 19s maybe at Scotland. So, you know, it's good to see the, you know, those two in particular, you know, go on and take the almost performance to the next level. And, you know, I don't see why me or any other kids, you know, that are coming to the school can't look towards that almost. And, you know, say, why can't I be that person? Why can't I be the one for my year that's gonna, you know, go and play at the top levels?